Okay, so let's see how we can solve the question from the third chapter of the injury mechanics statics by Miriam. And in this one, we have a chain binder that is used to secure loads of logs, Lambert pipe, and the like. We know the tension T1 is 2 kN, so we have the tension in this cable. We also know that theta is 30 degrees, so we need to determine the force P required on the lever and the corresponding tension T2 for this position. And we can assume that the surface under A is perfectly smooth, meaning we do not consider any friction at that surface. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram and we're going to draw the free body diagram for this part of the system. We have the force P that is applying on one end. We're going to have T1 in here and on the contact point A, since we do not have any friction, we only have a normal force. We can just call it uh, maybe Na, which is the normal force. And we're going to have the tension T2 in here. And obviously we have the force P in here, which is one of the unknowns that we need to figure out. So we are in equilibrium. We have our three equilibrium equations, including sum of all forces in X equals zero, sum of all forces in Y equals zero. And the last one would be sum of all moments about any points that we want to. So these are our equilibrium conditions that we have. We're just going to call our X and Y axis here. And it makes sense to start with our moment equation. So if we do the moment about point A, counterclock was positive as always. We're going to get rid of the moment of the Na T2. We already have T1, so we should be able to find the P pretty easy. Also, again, we know theta is 30 degrees in here. So we're going to have the moment of T1 about point A, which is counterclockwise. So positive, we know T1 is 2 kilonewtons. So positive 2 is our force. And we need to figure out the vertical distance from A to the line of action or this distance here. And we're going to make it right triangle in here where the hypotenuse is 100 millimeter. The angle is 30 degrees, we know this angle is theta, so this angle is also 30 degrees. So if I just want to show it a little bit bigger, we know this angle is 30 degrees, and we're interested in this side, this will be 100 millimeter. So this side that we are trying to figure out is 100 sine of 30 degrees. So that's the moment of the T1, and we also have the moment of P, which if we look at it, we'll see the moment is clockwise, so negative. We are looking for P and same concept, vertical distance from A to P. Uh, maybe I show it with light blue. So basically, this is the line of action of P and the distance that we are interested in is this distance, which is basically 500 plus 100 or 600. This will be equal to zero. The reason I didn't do unit conversion in here because they're both in millimeters so it will be cancelled out and at the end we're going to get the p in kilonewton so it will be 50 we know sine of 30 is one half so basically our p is 100 divided by 600 kilonewton let's see what we get basically one divided by six uh, 0.1667 kilonewton or if it want to report in at newtons just for multipliers by a thousand so 166.7 newton we found the first unknown so now we are interested in uh, we are trying to figure out t2 which is in x direction so we're going to do some of all forces in x equals zero <laughs> and we're going to have t2 since it's to the right positive minus t1 which is two kilonewton and also we need to figure out the x component of p. So we can resolve p into x and y components. And we know that this angle here is also 30 degrees. We have these two angles where this one is perpendicular to this one and this one to this. We know this is our theta or 30 degrees. And we know these two angles are the same. So that angle is 30 degrees. Uh, that's the trick that we talked about in the channel over and over. So if that angle is 30 degrees, the x component would be p sine of 30 degrees. And since it's to the right, so it will be positive. Our p is 166.7 sine of 30 degrees equals 0. And basically our t2 would be 166.7 divided by 2. So divided by 2. And one thing that you need to watch in here is that we have this force in newtons so the other two kilonewton has to be in newtons as well so we basically have 
this minus 2000 so our t2 would be 1916.67 newtons and if we just want to report it as kilonewton will be 9.92 kilonewtons and the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one